to the Sigali Spark. Let's go straight to the close-up and let's take a look what's inside this, uh, this little box. As you can see, it's a very small, tiny little box. There's my spark already. Huh? Open it up. The first thing you will see is your Sigeli. My version is the sample version. It's going to be different than yours because Sigeli already told me that the battery magnetic cover is different than mine. Mine has a sliding cover. Yours is going to be full magnetic, just like with the IPVD2, IPVD3. Let me take one here. As you can see, this is full magnetic. So it slides on perfectly snug. Doesn't slide. My version, it is sliding. So that's quite annoying when you put on your sleeve. Let's take a good look. It's the Getty Spark. It's a very small device. It's around the same size as your D3. It's a little bit longer, and, but the weight is significantly lower. Uh, the IP, IPV D3 weighs around 135 grams without battery, and the Sigeli Spark weighs 95 grams. So yeah, th that's quite a difference. When you take a look, you've got very nice shiny buttons, clicky buttons. Click here, click there, perfect. You've got a very nice 510 connector. And for me, because I'm quite clumsy actually sometimes, Sigali did something with the 510 connector. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to focus. As you can see, there's not a ring inside your 510 connector. Now you can see it. You can see there's another ring inside your 510 connector. So when you take your RDA or your tank or your atomizer, you can, it, it's perfect. No need to fight with it whatsoever. It's, it, it just fits perfect. When I take a look at my D3, it's a complete different scenario. As you can see, there's no ring there. This is something I really like from Sigeli. So let's take a close look, put the battery inside, fire it up. Again, with my sliding panel, it's a little bit difficult to, you know, even when I hold it in my hand, it, it is very, very light. Anyway, it's going to be changed. They're already fixing this. So let's fire it up. One, two, three, four, five. Five times click is machine on. As you can see, very nice screen nice and bright so for this uh, thing i have to put on my tank on my rda actually sorry so let's go inside the menu so i click five times slowly one two three four five and i'm inside my system settings system on i click another time power mode hey that's interesting i can choose i can choose between the joules or the power mode Power mode is very voltage, very wattage, and the joules is temperature control. Let's take a look. Temperature control. So you can so you can set up your um, Celsius and your Fahrenheit. Well, I'm Dutch, so I'm gonna keep it on Celsius, and I can see temperature. I can go up. All the way until 300. I can come down, of course. It's not round robin. So let's keep it there. I can choose the coils. I can choose titanium coils. I can choose nickel wire coils. For this test, I'm using normal Kenta wire. So I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna change it back to power mode. Exit, exit on, that's it. It's a very, very easy to use machine. This machine is very consistent. 
what I try to say with this, I, I'm using the D3 already for quite a while. And I notice after, after using the machine for like 10, 15 minutes, there was a huge uh, power drop. So you, could, so you could see your battery drop, dropping down the whole time. And it was getting actually quite annoying. And with the Segali, it is a consistent vape. So it will last you until the last percentage of your battery. My battery is 50%, so I have to use it with 0%. This works fine. It is just a very good small machine. The material of the Segali Spark is zinc alloy, and this one is just simple steel. It is all that's why it's also more heavy. Overall, Segali Spark for me is my new all day vape machine. It is seriously, it's, it is a very solid machine and it vapes awesome. All right, guys, I'm going up again and I'm going to vape it for you. So guys, here it is. This was my review of the Segeli Spark. It's a 90 watt small device. It is great vape. It's a direct vape. It lasts the whole day with one single charge. Normally I'm using a Kanker sub tank, but for this review I was using RDA. Um, so let's take a little vape and see you guys next time.